Hi, I'm Catherine French. I'm the director of the Danforth Museum of Art. And for the next month and a half, we have Driven to Abstraction, a work by three separate shows, work by Masako Kamiya, uh, Ann Neely, and Robert Collins. And I'd like to talk to you first about Masako Kamiya. Masako Kamiya was chosen as one of the Mass Cultural Council Painting Fellows for 2010, which means that she was chosen among many, many artists working in Massachusetts and really was featured uh, to be in, and recognized as one of the foremost painters working today in Massachusetts. Uh, her work is very interesting. I have to say that she's doing something that no other artist is doing uh, that I've seen. She's really, ta really focusing on gesture. It's point upon point upon point. She takes acrylic paint and she builds small towers and they're very intricate, very complex. They stand proud of the surface. There is a lot of color, saturated color, and she's really talking about gesture. She's talking about the act of making a painting, and she's bringing the viewer into a painting. I, she is um, probably um, unique in this. I, she is very emotional. This is a kind of abstraction that is not detached. It's not overly conceptualized, but it is very much about process, it's very much about the act of painting, and we are very, very pleased to have her at the museum. Uh, here we have the work of Ann Neely. Ann Neely is also a 2010 painting fellow for the Mass Cultural Council, and she is really painting in a way that is lush, sweeping, full of gesture. Her colors are dramatic. This show is called Water Lines, and it, it focuses big, you know, pretty specifically on her experience of living and working on the Maine coast. Uh, she's a Boston artist, but she's very concerned with water, she's concerned with landscape, but most of all she's concerned with paint. So she's applying paint, she's applying it in different ways, she's experimenting, and the colors are vibrating, vibrant, um, full of life and activity, and I think that she is also an artist who's really causing us to question how we see the world, what we're doing with it, and uh, how we can reinterpret it for ourselves. Bob Collins is teaching in our museum school, and he's also an outstanding painter whose work we are very pleased to be exhibiting. Uh, he's working abstractly, he's working with shape, he builds from his experience of observing and looking at the world. He's somebody who uh, came out of a tradition of uh, figurative, representational painting, working with still lives. Um, Bob still observes, still works from still lives in the classroom, but when he's painting on his own, he um, has taken these abstracted shapes and built them and composed them, and they are very, very complex and vibrant. The paintings seem to move. The, what we've got here exhibited in the museum is only a small portion of the work that he's done in the last two years. So. This is something that we are very excited about. It's exciting for our students to see a teacher of theirs uh, at this level, and uh, it is certainly a show not to be missed.